Welcome back. It's Chris from Volpe's Training. Now, the last video I did, I showed some of the trainers. You can see them live and actually moving around. So just photos. And a lot of you got back to me and said you really like that. So I'm going to try and do that as a regular thing as much as I can. So the first one I want to show today is the Wagner Bolo Trainer. Probably my most popular sword trainer. This is based on the design by Bladesmith Josh Wagner. A lot of you are familiar with the Priscilla Brush Sword. There's a uh, Schrade makes a production version of it. Or if you want the real deal, you can go to Josh and commission a custom version of them. Uh, fantastic sword for the outdoors person and for the martial artist. Josh is an amazing bladesmith. He's a great martial artist. All around, very cool guy. True Renaissance man. So this is the trainer based on the Priscilla Brush Sword. It's one of my uh, favorite ones to use personally. It's well balanced, it moves so nicely. Uh, I have a lot of people pick these up and go, oh my God, this feels just like my live blade. Uh, like everything else, I work from three quarter inch thick HTPE polymer sheet stock, and these are hand ground. You see these are not some flat cookie cutter made on a CNC machine. These are actually hand ground, same methods as a bladesmith. You can see my dusty, dusty, one of my uh, belt sanders over here are all covered in nice dust, polymer dust. Uh, it's a lot of work making these. These are not just slapped out of a machine somewhere or injection molded. Uh, I get a lot of people saying, oh wow, do you 3D print these? With the amount of work that goes into this, when someone asks me if I 3D print them, I really want to smack them with one of these and leave a nice knot in their head. These take a lot of work and there's a lot of skill going into these. So once again, these are not uh, factory made or injection molded, they're not 3D printed. These are hand ground, the same skill set being used by any knife maker. So you see I use a compound flat grind Keep all the bevels just like the real deal. All these hand grooves. Now I say 3D textured, you'll see me use that term a lot. And I think some people think, they see the word 3D, they think that means 3D printed. It's not 3D printed. These are hand ground into place. So everything is textured and finished so there's no hot spots, in it, but keeps it nice and grippy for action even when your hand gets sweaty. So that's the Wagner Bolo Trainer. For you guys who like a spot of Yadaga, I made it so there is a matching trainer. I basically shrunk down the sword into a nice matching Daga and I have a spot of Yadaga set. Even on its own, this is a fantastic sword, uh, uh, knife rather. Um, I'd like to see if I can get Josh to make the live blade version of a knife size. Josh, hint, hint. That'd be really cool, but these are uh, even on their own or as a companion set. This is a really fun set to work with for you FMA guys. All right, so if you like really ridiculously crazy things, I'm here for you. This is part of my Panavas series. This is my work lever Panavas. Uh, this is a, <laughs> well, let's just say, these are ridiculous, but everyone, if, you, if you're shopping at Volpis, you're probably my kind of ridiculous. So this is a trainer that is actually beefy enough that if you wanted to, it could almost be a war club. Okay, it could be a war club, but the balance point is right here in the middle. So if you need to use it one hand, it will move one handed nicely. It'll move two handed. And I designed this with all, there's a lot going on in here. It's not such a simple design uh, as it may look at first, but that extra hand uh, can slide down. You can actually get a good full two hand swing with this. So you've got long range, you got medium range, and you got some nice short range techniques that can be used for even single hand if needed. So these are lots of fun as always, three quarter inch thick. So it has some decent weight behind it. Um, it is just like something you could just slice a pig in half with if it was made of steel. It's not. It's polymer. Since we're talking about cutting up dinner, 
This is brand new. This will be going into the catalog very soon. Um, I recently added a chef knife to the catalog due to quite a few people asking me about, hey, can we get a chef knife? Because it's a lot of people have that mentality of, hey, I should train with whatever is handy. And kitchen knife is a pretty handy thing. So a cleaver, cleaver is a great idea because, I mean, it's a cleaver, you know. I mean, it's made to cut through bone and things. So um, if you ever had to pick up something handy in the house, because you know someone's kicking in the door and this is in reach you know cleaver's a nice thing to know how to use well so here's the trainer for it you can play with it it moves nice it weighs almost a pound so it's almost like wielding a real cleaver so you'll get a bit of realism with the uh movement factor in it all right so what else is new bing is part of the fennec series I haven't named this yet. We can call it the ring handle drop point knife fighter trainer. I don't know yet. We haven't, I haven't decided what I'm calling yet, but it'll get named and go into the catalog very soon. This is part of the Fennec series. So it's made with the half inch thick material, the full texture designed to fit in a forward, you know, saber grip or into reverse grip. You'll notice, of course, it's, using my uh, third hand tool profile on the ring. So you got those extra false contact points. That's the shot manager. I'm gonna lock him out before he interrupts us some more. I'm filming. So there we are. This guy's gonna be in their catalog soon for you guys that are liking these ring handled uh, EDC type knives. These are actually a lot of fun to play around with because of the options going. So this will be in the catalog soon and one that people have asked a lot about, this big karambit. So this thing is a monster. Uh, these are actually quite a bit of work to put together. Um, you can see the double ground on each side, the handle textured and ground I actually taper the ring, if you can see that, so as to give a better fit. Locks into the hand real nice. And if you're of the notion to carry it, use it in a forward grip, you've got that option there pretty well. So this is a beast. So this will be going in the catalog uh, probably tonight. I shot some pictures to get that ready for it. Just a matter of me getting it loaded up on the website. So. There's some new things. There's some old things. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. Uh, come again, like I said, you can get to our new website at www.volpeestraining.com. Now, some of you, you get on there and you Google Volpe's Training and you find the Etsy site. Please don't use the Etsy site anymore. I'm just reserving it at this point for international orders um, and whatever orders happen to pick up in it. But really would like orders to come through the new website. So please, www.volpeastraining.com. Check out the catalog that the new website has a lot more options and a lot more models than the old Etsy site. The Etsy site is not being updated with current new models. So if you're going there, you're missing out on a lot of the best stuff. So check out the new website. And as always, you can contact me directly um, through Messenger, through the website, wherever you're, wherever you're uh, working from, and shoot me questions. Remember, I do custom orders. Um, these days, I'm a little more picky on what I'm taking for commissions of custom orders, just for time and uh, keeping up with things. So, but don't be afraid to ask. I like fun ideas when people can give me something uh, clever to work on. I've had some really good ones lately. Maybe I'll pull some up and show uh, on another video. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.